Bang, bang, bang. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain. Is your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. Luck, luck, luck. There is going to be excessive alcohol consumption, excessive tobacco use, and believe me, tonight, on a night like tonight, excessive, excessive amounts of shit. Fuck, damn. If you can't handle it, you better leave now. I'm coming in three, and here I come. Three, two, one. Bang. Oh, yeah, I'm in army gear tonight. Well, I'm in army gear tonight. Tonight. Yes, gentlemen, yes. We all know what's been happening in the markets. Tonight we are here. Now, brothers, I suspect you're laughing your asses off and have a good old time. But look, look, there's been a lot of new subscribers, males and females of all stripes and types. One of the brothers were from Ireland the other day. He said well, him and his lads, him and his lads were watching me. Look. Now, I know today was a bad day. Well, it was a good day. But it, it, for some of you, you might not get that yet. <laughs> you might not understand why it's so good. And you might be fearing, feeling a little bit of what is known in this crypto world as FUD. Look, look, look. Shamari is here tonight to perform the unfudding of your ass, bitch. Look! Look! There is nothing to fear. Bang! Is on the way. Oh, and you don't think I'm going to show you? Of course I am. <laughs> I'm going to show you about the billions of dollars on the way, boys. So you sit your fat ass down. Go, ahead, go grab yourself some popcorn. Grab yourself a beer. You know what I mean? Whatever your favorite beverage is. Sit the fuck your fat ass down. And let Captain Shamari talk to you. Bang, soldier. Look, look, look. We're not putting up with that business tonight. And then for the rest of you guys, though. Oh, my gosh. I'm so pissed off. Fuck, I don't even have any money on Coinbase today, man. I didn't think this was going to happen. Honestly, I'm not even going to bullshit you. I didn't think this was going to happen again. Because I can't think of the reason. What the fuck? I mean, there are a few reasons I th I'm thinking now that make sense. Like, if you're like me and you bought your stuff, like... My Bitcoin, like on Ethereum's, I'm still making money on those. Those are from 2016. So I'm assuming it's those fucks that they're like, well, look, look, we're still up a few G's each. Like, why don't we just fucking take that money and get out of here, you know? Do you see what I'm saying? It's not weak hands because they're, they're going to get back in maybe. I mean, I don't know what they are, but all right, all right, look, look, look. We're here for the unfudding, though. The unfudding shall commence. So, brothers, tonight, first story. Oh, and we're getting, oh, brothers, we are going to talk some stuff tonight. <laughs> when I tell you to sit down, this ain't a joke. Watch the size of these subs I take tonight. Use them to, we're in an unfudding, brothers. Look, look, Dr. Clark is in the house. He needs his rocket fuel to perform the surgery tonight, mental surgery. I got to play mental mind warfare with fuckers tonight. Yes. It's a special night tonight, brothers. It's going to be some intellectual Vietnam. Remember this. The truth sets you free. I'm going to bring that tonight. So look. Yeah, right? This is like a fucking theme week. Yesterday we had... Money transfer, bank money transfer day. Today we have an unfudding <laughs> of the new folks. So look, Van Eck ETF decision. We will talk about that today. Bang. Binance growth. Bang, bang, bang. The unfudding begins in the second story. Yes, fuck sticks. Institutional investors don't ask for something unless they're going to use it. Luck, luck, fuckers. Bang. Institutional investors are coming. And, oh. <laughs> and then, yes, some more institutions. In other words, I'm just going to drown you in the amount of money that's on the way, okay? I'm just going to slaughter you with that. Just slaughter you tonight just to make sure your head is right. Bang. I'm going to slaughter you tonight. Make sure your head is right. Now, come on. Bang. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. You know how we do it around here. This is how Shamari does. You guys ready? You guys ready to come with me? Here we go, brothers. Bang. Let's go. Let's go to war.
Let's go to fucking war right around these parts. Bang. I mean, you know, we do it. Bang. Welcome to the party, brothers. And you know how we do. Let's refresh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bang, 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 bang. Now, for the initiated. <laughs> I hope you have some fiat on your motherfucking. On your. I mean, if you're American, on your Coinbase, I don't know what you guys use over there in Europe, our European and uh, British brothers. Bang! I don't know what you guys use over there, but man, you best have some fiat ready to fucking shoot. I'm not going to bullshit, man. Fuck. That Coinbase thing, I'm going to try that again tonight. Uh, the thing where I learned where it was instant, I'm going to try that tonight. This is too juicy. And I even have some fucking... I don't even like to talk this kind of stuff, but look, man, it's a little strange, though. The market's getting killed. And remember, but look, look at fake Tosi shit. I'm just saying, look, look, I don't like conspiracies, but look. Remember how he was like, sorry. Me and my people needed that electricity, so we did that whole bullshit. Look, just saying, all right, look, look, let's do how we do it, because we got unfunding to do. Look. Top 10, bang, Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum, Stellar, Bitcoin SV, Tether, Bitcoin Cash, Yields, Litecoin, and who? Bang, Trahan. But look how far up Bitcoin SV went. Remember, Bitcoin SV was at nine yesterday. Bang, blew out uh, Litecoin. Litecoin got is getting blown out, which is stupid. You should know better than that. It's a commodity, but bang. Oh, so let's look at what, oh, well, <laughs> The whole market's on sale. Let's look at this market sale, brothers. Look, look, if you're scared, I know. You're probably like, why the fuck is this guy laughing? What's he giggling about? Don't worry, man. I'm going to show you why. What you're looking at right here, if you're new here, look, look, let's talk to the new brothers. Bang. Who's new around these parts? Let's look at some of you new motherfuckers. I want you to understand. New subscriber. Crypto Chris. Bang. See you, brothers. See you, brother. Stay in, you know, stick around. Don't worry, you'll understand in a second. There's Desert Garden, bang. One of the brothers, Doug, bang. Been rippling talk with that guy. <laughs> Atta Bob, bang. But look, look, look. What's get? Where's the? Where's the new people? Bang. All right, new subscriber, DOS Gaming, bang. Stick around, brother. You're gonna understand what we're laughing about. There's Bob. Look, look, look. New subscriber, Burke Lover One, bang. I know. It seems crazy. I'm giggling. Don't worry. New subscriber. Holy man. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Blodgem? <laughs> Blodgem 18. Brother, I'm not trying to disrespect your name, but bang. Love you. And wait around. Rightus. Paskevic. Paskevicus. Bang. That's some like old Roman name like Leonidas. Pontificus or something. <laughs> I like that. Bang. It's very regal. Bit jazz. See you, brother. Bang. Because we got to unfud these folk. Come on, brothers. You know what I'm talking about. You guys have been here for a while, so you know what the fuck. These new guys, tonight is the night I'm going to have to probably bring out some Noah and stuff to show them. New subscriber. Cottingham. All sorts. Bang. All right. So you get the picture. You're new people. Look, all of you. All of you new ones. I know. I know. Look, I'm an 18-year trader, Forex trader. I'm an investor. My money makes me money. I don't have a 9-to-5 job like you guys or something like that. Um, it, I've been in markets for a long, 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 long time. You can go to forexfactory.com, type in my name, S-H-O-M-A-R-I, in the top right-hand corner, press enter, bang. You can go down to the bottom, bottom on the left or the middle of the left, it's, there's a thing that says images. Boop, click on those. Those are some of my trades. Some of the bullshit I was telling the boys are, are attached to the trades so you can see how we talk to each other. If you want to see how I talk, you want to just look at whatever you want to look at. It's open for you. That's what I did. I gave it open for you guys, all right? So just go look at that <clears throat> and just look at that. So you'll see, I'm an investor. I know those trades are old. And I've been doing this for a long time. And things seem counterintuitive sometimes. Right? The whole buy low, sell high thing, right? It seems a little crazy. 
Why would I sell when it's going up? Well, you have to know about retracements. Why would I why would I sell when it's going why would I sell when it's going up? Retracements. Why would I buy when it's going down? Retracement levels. And look, look, look. That's the technicalities of trading, but look, I'm gonna show you tonight. I know what you're looking at right here. It, your shit just went, we're looking at it right now. Fuck, 20%. <laughs> oh, everything's on sale though, brothers. Bang! Luck, luck, luck though. New people. I know, double digits down. It seems crazy. But I want to tell you something. There is a tsunami of money. There is a tsunami of money that's coming to this market. And I don't mean like one day, you know, five, ten years from now, uh, you know, in the off distance. I mean in a couple months is when the injection of hundreds of billions I'm not playing with you. Hundreds of billions of dollars are going to begin to be injected into this market. And before we even get to our usual thing, let me just show you. This market, $108 billion, I'm gonna, sh well, not tonight, but, but let me just tell you, there are hedge funds, <laughs> there are hedge funds, now this isn't a joke, there's no giggling tonight, no giggling tonight. There are hedge funds and money managers I mean, I'll try not to giggle. I mean, it's amazing. Like, when you really understand the ramifications, you'll be happy. There are hedge funds with more money than this. There are people who make more, or organizations, not just single men, but who make more money than this in a month. The crypto market is tiny. And there are hundreds of billions of dollars coming in this market. Well, they got to put that money somewhere. Do you understand? If I'm a hedge fund and someone gives me a billion dollars to invest for them, well, I have to go buy shit with that money. You understand? A guy doesn't give me the money just to hold it. I gotta actually go spend it. It's the law, really. I have to buy stuff with his money. You know, I'm not allowed to just be like, have it, right? <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh, but I mean, just luck, luck, luck. And so I, I just... I want you to grasp little little things like that. Okay, there are this market here today in twenty four hours seventeen billion dollars. Dude, there 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 are hedge funds that make that amount of money in a week. That's how tiny the cryptocurrency market is. Actually, let me show you. Uh, I'll even show you guys our Discord channel which apparently is not being maintained anymore. But look, look, look. And watch this. Ugh, come on. This guy, Justin Williams, he's our man. Anyway, we'll... we'll all right, we'll just do it now while we're here. Oh, Bob's on it. Is he? I don't know. But watch this. This is the size of the cryptocurrency market in comparison to other markets in the world, okay? Bang. Look at cryptocurrency. That's Bitcoin, that's Ethereum, and I think that one was Litecoin. These are companies, they are bigger than all of the crypto market. This is the gold market compared to the crypto market. This is physical currency. <laughs> that's just the United States. And that's the rest of the world. And then these are people. He has a better chart even. But look, look, look. When they stuff all that money in here and come here, you're going to be rich. Like you're going to be loaded. And I know that today it looks bad. But believe me, it can't get any better. Bitcoin futures all right all right Let, let's go into the top 10 and then i'm gonna school you uh, we're gonna go into it all right so let's just do how we usually do but look guys if you're ever if you're nervous or anything right now stick around till the end of the show believe me you'll be all right you'll be all right all right so top 10 of the day did we do this already yeah we already did this part look look anyway let's do it again fuck it bitcoin xrp ethereum stellar bitcoin sv tether bitcoin cash eos 
uh, Litecoin and Tron. Oh, that's what the thing was. That Bitcoin SV took over Bitcoin Cash. Bang. That's what today's weird, uh, you know, thing was. All right. So markets, low single digits, uh, sorry, low double digits to, well, I don't know what you call that. Low double digits to just, I don't know, teens down, man. Just teens down, 16, 15, 18, 5, whatever, with a little green sprinkled in. It's that kind of day. Bang. And then we're going to go a little bit of our bang. Oh, man, everything's on sale today. All right, brother. So look, 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 let us go to our top 10 losers of the day. Bang. Fact and polymath mithril, IOS. Oh, I, I-O-S-T. Next, OEOS wave, Steam, Stratus. Oh, Stratus again? Psh, I'm probably going to buy some more of that. I love those guys. I keep telling you guys, they will make your ass a blockchain, man. You just tell them what kind you want. Brr, they make it for you. And they just got that Microsoft uh, uh, deal last month. Just saying, take a look, take a look. Hey, I don't tell you what your money. Just give me my opinion. Eternity, bang. Oh, and those are those guys, you eternity lovers. You got your uh, holders. You got your uh, your new mainnet this week. And that's what I mean about this market. That's why, and I, that's also another thing I want to tell you guys. Look, 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 guys, these are amateurs here. If you're worried about what you're seeing here, it's because it's amateurs, man. Don't be worried. We have professional fucking institutional investors coming. They know. They have analysts. They have analysts. I'll, you want to know? I'll just tell you what's happening right now. I bet you Morgan, Sa Morgan Stanley, uh, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, fucking all of them, Bank of America, all of them. Yeah, right now what their analysts are doing, they're analyzing every one of these motherfucking guys right here. All of these guys. They have teams of analysts going through Every one of these guys flipping white papers. They're flipping roadmaps and then looking at what they're really doing, if anything. <laughs> you think they're here to play games? They're not putting billions of dollars on the line just guessing like you. Well, Garlinghouse says he's going to take over the world. And they only have four banks and you're like piling your money in. They're not idiots. When they get here... They have analysts who are going to be, sir, we believe that blah, 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 blah. Yes, it's viable. It has a, you know, uh, you know, usually, what do you call that shit? The, uh, you know what I'm talking about? It's, it's going to service an industry of blah, 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 market cap. And we believe that they can have blah, 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 market share and blah, 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 sir. And yes, the thing is working, sir. And blah, blah, blah. We've spoken to the people of IBM. And yes, they say the IOTA is working. And yes, they say that over in uh, Microsoft that the V-Chain is working. That's what they're going to hear, right? <laughs> Duh. And so <laughs> that's all they care about. Why did I start this? <laughs> anyway, whatever. When they fucking have their money, here, uh, they have to spend it. You know, you have to spend that billionaire's money. Well, that's what they're going to do. All right, my analyst says, that thing works. All right. Well, I don't know. Let's get a quarter billion of that shit. <laughs> I mean, it's that easy to them. They're billionaires. They don't. It's not so nerve wracking to them as it is to you or me who want this to sort of better our lives. Right. I'm assuming you're nine to five worker, guys. I'm a trader. Yes. But this trade will be the best one I've ever done. But anyway, bang, let's go. Top 10 earners. XYO Network. Bitcoin SV. Gemini Dollar Tether. Oh, Gemini dollar. What? There's that Gemini dollar. Oh, at one and oh one cents. That's where it's supposed to be, right? It's supposed to be pegged to the oh and another USD coin. 101 cents. Oh, and another USD coin. 101 cents. Oh, and tether. 101 cents. And I'm telling you. Yep. Oh, so fuck sticks. Did you watch that last night? I pinned that post of the, the IBM guy telling you about the money flows. Did you watch it? Did you see when he said maybe the uh, maybe these stable coins will be what they'll use to transfer money? I mean, if I want to transfer American dollars, well, I could just transfer a USD coin. Bang, there it is, right? Over their network. Remember he said you can if you watched it, 
if you actually used your brain and watched it. Man, that's good stuff. Anyways, Strato Standard by Stasis Euros. What is that, a Euro? EURS, what is that? A Euro, uh, a Euro stable coin? And inside chain. Bang. All right, brothers. Now, let's unfud these fuck sticks. Bang. Now. I know the title probably doesn't seem like an unfudding. But believe me, as we get through the story, you will understand. So, brothers. Luck, luck, luck. Q1, Q2 of next year, we have an influx of money coming. I told you guys I believe Q2. All right? Um, holy. And uh, what I want to show you guys tonight is, um, is the motherfuckers don't just build stuff if they don't know it's going to be used. And so there's a lot of building going on. For a bang, institutional investors, I want to show you that. Hold on, hold on. I got to get fueled. I got to get fueled. Because it's so serious. Holy. Man, I'm in like a serious mood. I want to be more friendly and shit. But tonight's a serious night. When shit's like this, Bang. And look, 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 I'm going to say something tonight. Look, if you have the money, now's the time to get your Bitcoins. Remember what's coming out in January and February. Those are ETFs and futures. Yeah. Yeah, they are Bitcoin ETFs. <laughs> Those are Bitcoin futures that are coming out Q1, Q2 next year. And then... Uh, I'll just tell you right now, Ethereum and Litecoin are next on the futures and ETF market, plus going into the um, 401k markets and all that. But that's down the road. But at the beginning, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, ETFs and futures. But which one do we know is coming right away for sure? Bitcoin. Bitcoin ETFs. Bitcoin futures. And so, I mean, I'm not telling you what to do with money. I don't tell anyone to do with their money, but... <laughs> That's pathetic. Three and change? Now's the time. Now's the time. If you've wanted ever to secure some, you know what I mean? But it could go down more. You're right. But do you want to take the chance? I bought some last week, right? I bought two. Yeah, they're down right now. But yeah, they'll be way up <laughs> when the Bitcoin futures come out, when the ETFs come out, when the... You know, 401ks come out with it and, and all that kind of crap, right? Think long-term-ish, okay? Well, hold on, let me first of all prove to you that those things are going to come out. Holy, hold on, my bad. So, as expected, the SEC delays Vanek Bitcoin ETF decision until February 27th. So, we already knew that they were going to do this. This isn't a big deal. I'm going to read it, but, but I want to get to the the meat of the story down below the security the sec delayed a major a marking wait <laughs> delay see delayed making a decision on vanex bitcoin etf exchange rate of fund application until february 27 so february 27 we're going to hear about the vanex etf decision the postponement was largely expected As 2018 draws to a close amid the ongoing crypto bear market. This is what the SEC said. The SEC said that the commission finds it appropriate to designate a longer period within which to issue an order approving or disapproving the proposed rule change so that it has sufficient time to consider this proposed rule change, the SEC announced in a December 6th statement, which was yesterday. It is now 3.01 a.m., December 7th a.m. All right. But Vanek remains cautiously optimistic. It's fairly certain to us that uh, America wants a Bitcoin ETF. Duh. Gerbax told Cheddar, we think that we've met all market structure obstacles and requirements. And I'm going to talk to you about that. Requirements on pricing, custody, valuation, price discovery, 
and safekeeping. Gust. Oh, that's a different custody. Excuse me. So we are cautiously optimistic. The SEC has delayed making a decision on the ETF by Vanek uh, several times this year. <clears throat> the SEC has been <clears throat> understandably strict so far. In August 2018, the agency rejected nine Bitcoin ETF applications, but those are the ones we're waiting to see what they say about in January. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think they're going to fucking approve those guys because remember when those guys applied, there was still the anti-money laundering, the uh, terror terrorist financing thing, and the market manipulation thing. I don't think any of those guys uh, filled that, um, sorry, answered those questions. Remember the, the 14 questions? They got it down to the three. I think, I don't think they did, but I think uh, the Van Eck guys did. Oh, oh, this is what I wanted to tell you. Yeah, I didn't report about it, but Van Eck went in and talked privately with SEC regulators the other day, um, about a week and a half ago, and... Um, uh, they said that they answered each and every question. Did we talk about it? Wait, maybe we did. Was that the one where I, where we read about? Anyways, man, just in case. They did go in and they said they answered everything, including price manipulation. So let's see. Because, you know, that seems like to be the last thing left is that for the SEC approvals is that they're just not going to let, you know, they're not going to let. Americans be manipulated by prices. I mean, and not, you know, not just us, the retailers, but, you know, millionaires and billionaires are going to stand for that. So, uh, in June 2018, it amazing. All right. Anyways, that's, they rejected a bunch of fucking ETFs. We already know that if you've been here. If you haven't been here, man, just believe me, man, they have. Oh, BlackRock. And so, blah, blah, blah. Um, most, oh, sorry. Market insiders are divided on whether a Bitcoin ETF is a good idea. Among the skeptics is Larry Fink, the CEO of BlackRock. BlackRock owns trillions of dollars, but he's not a skeptic. So let me just skip forward. I hate these crypto guys. They say things wrong. This is what he actually said. I wouldn't say never when it is legitimate. Yes. And that's what you guys. Oh, that's something I wanted you guys to understand is that one of you guys last night told me. Well, Shamari, in the comments, I'm not dissing you or anything. I mean, I know you're a worker bee and you're actually a young guy. I know that you're young. You're in your 20s. And so, look, man, I mean, you know, you don't know. Uh, but I'm going to tell you right now, you said to me, Shamari, man, I think risk off. Maybe, maybe, oh, well, you didn't say you think it would, but you just said, do you think you could go to Bitcoin? Bitcoin's the riskiest asset. Yeah, it just, it just fell 20% 20, 20 of its price in two weeks. <laughs> No stock or, or dollar or something. Well, yeah, like, I mean, they just, it, it, that's risky if it does that. And so that's why I tell you guys in a risk off environment, fuck, if this guy, see, I don't even like bringing up this subject right now. Anyways, in a risk off environment, um, that's the whole point. You don't take risk. Like, when you have billions of dollars, all you want your money to do is keep uh, returning you money on investment, ROI, right? And so they're not like you. Like right now, the reason you're so a person like you would be like, I'll take my million of it and I'll risk it in crypto and that is because you're desperate. They're billionaires. They look at, when they look at crypto, they look at it as like, sure, we can get into it or not. The big banks, no. And, you know, they're going to hype it and everything. They know they're going to make money. But in terms of their risk level, they don't need to take a risk. They make tens of billions of dollars a day. If I make tens of billions of dollars, I can wait. I can wait. So if there's a, if there's a, a trade war that's going to come, all right, I wait until it blows over. I right, put my money in the bonds. Yeah, I make 3%. Fuck it. You only make 5 to 7% on on stocks and that's called risky five to seven percent is risky <laughs> uh, 
yeah, is what they risk it for, for 5 7%. Fuck it. I can get guaranteed on an American 10-year bond, three-month bond, at 3%. Guaranteed. Right? Like, you got to learn how the markets work. Um, what was the point of why I said all that? Um, why did I say that to you, Foxer? Oh, 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 this delay. And so, yeah, yeah. So, it, but what I want to tell you is, is that they're building all this infrastructure, right? They're building custody <laughs> and charging $250,000 minimum just to get one, to get an account. They're poaching each other's crypto guys. They're silently building trading desks. I mean, go to Investopedia and... Search all those terms I just told you, custody services, ETFs, uh, trading desk, Google that, or Google it too, Google it too, but go to Investopedia and you'll see. And so, you know, don't be afraid, man. Now watch this. Bang. As Van Eck waits for its ECC, SEC decision, it's plowing ahead to roll out a Bitcoin futures in the first quarter of 2019 through a partnership with who? With who? Bang! Not Shamari, not Bill, not Bob, not Johnny. The NASDAQ. <laughs> Shamari. That's so silly. The world's second largest stock exchange. Uh, a stock exchange doesn't roll out crypto stuff unless they know, yo, we're going to make money at this. And meaning you're going to make money at this when all that money comes in the market. I mean, they have to buy your goods, right? You own goods. So, bang, you're going to get that money. Blah, 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 the derivatives. That's a bunch of bullshit. NASDAQ has been working with the CFTC to make sure it complies fully. Exactly. And that's what I mean. All these other exchanges, Binance, Bitfinex, fucking, I'm not dissing, but even Coinbase a little bit. Like, they're not like the exchanges that are coming now. That Aerosex you boys have been telling me about. There it is. Bang. I said its name. <laughs> I remembered it. A Gemini backed. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it's going to be murderous. It's going to be murderous. And that all comes in Q1 of next year. But I'm not going to bullshit you. They all say... First quarter of 2019, I'm not going to lie. I think shit is going to ramp up. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to give you, here we go. Now, now the fuel is kicking in. Look, look, look. We're going to make our money next year, starting to make it. Q1, uh, Q2, May, June, July. The Shamari Q. <laughs> the Shamari three months, May, June, July. By July next year. Bang, brothers. Bang. It'll just be hold on for the ride. Hold on for the ride. That's what I think. That's what I think. I know. I know, though. That's why I read these, uh, you know, uh, you know, CEOs and stuff. They say Q1. But they are CEOs, so you have to <laughs> take it with a grain of salt. But as an investor, a regular guy myself, and one who uses his money to make money, believe me, I think Q2, May, June, and by July next year, brothers, bang, we are going to be, like you guys say, to the moon. <laughs> We're going to be on our way there. <laughs> Fuck moon. We're going to be <laughs> astro projecting out into the universe. Well, by, by 2020 probably, but look, 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 we'll start to the moon. <laughs> yes, May, June, July next year. Look, look, look. Similarly, Gerbuck said Van Eck. Ran a few extra miles. Exactly. Working with the CFT. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. To bring about the custody and surveillance stuff. It's the market manipulation that the SEC is, is getting on about, right? Like, fuck, how are you guys going to build your ETFs and stuff and make sure that the prices are good? And we read about that the other day. That one place used, what, three exchanges? And then when we read all oh, Bitmain, Bitmain, the, uh, the big giant... What do you call that crap? Miner? They said, yo, three exchanges. 
bang, we're going to use 11 exchanges for our price discovery. Price discovery, brothers. Bang. And look, 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 it's all going to come online. And that's why. All right. So I'm going to say this. Next year, January, I think all those ETFs, they're not going to make it. I don't think they're going to make it. And you know why? It's going to be about price discovery. But you know what they're going to do? All the rest of their application is probably good to go. Their price discovery solutions suck. So they're going to go. They're going to either put up the Bitmain thing or do what I, I know, I know, I know. But I can't remember what the name of that exchange was. Have multiple exchanges for price discovery. Bang. And that's why I'm saying Q2. Because it takes 90 days. The SEC gets three months, 90 days to review your application. And so I think next January, now we're going to get specific. I think next January, they get shot down. Bang. By the end of January, bang, they put out new applications with their new price discovery, all those exchanges to the SEC. I think that will be good enough. I think that will be good enough. And plus, they can use chain analysis. We talked about that. That's that software that that looks at money laundering, uh, that looks at, uh, uh, fuck, what you call that shit? Wash trading, pump and dumps, uh, insider trading. It just looks at all this other bullshit and it, it's powerful, right? We talked about that. And I think they will unleash those January, beginning of February next year. Then the SEC has, like I said, three months to decide, right? So February, February, March, April. I think May, and that's what I'm saying, May, June, July, we're going to see approvals, and then we're going to see more applications, more approvals, and we're going to go from there. That's my rationale in where I see the market going, and we shall see, and bang, I'll be here every day, so you'll get to see if I was right or not. Now, let's unfud these fucks. Look, look, look. Bang. I know. If you're here. If you're new, brothers, all you guys that I shouted out, bang, where were you? I know you're seeing those numbers, and they look roughneck. They look ruthless. <laughs> yeah, well, your name, Cunningham Alberts. See you, brother, all sorts, bang. Bitjacks, bang. Righteous, bang. Did you order the little 18, bang? Burke lever bag, look, 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 look. You have nothing to fear. You need to buy now. Right now, right now, because right now we are in the retail phase. We are at the end. Okay, so let's look at, let's look at, let's look at uh, cryptocurrency, okay? Three phases. We have the believers, the true believers. So I'm assuming <laughs> you cult members that's talk to me in my comments were true believers like my buddies right they were telling me about this shit from 2011 true believers you know, and the believers then you have retailers all right let's go with this hand all right fuck it let's go with this hand so you have true believers right well, let's go like this true believers then you have retailers so uh retailers became bank about January, February, 2017. And then you have retailers. That's what gave us this boom. And those are the weak hands, the ones that are running away. Now, now, this next phase is going to be the death. And that's what we're going through now. Let's just say this shit. Fuck this shit. All right, brothers. You know I love you and I tell you the truth. The truth. We're seeing the death of the retail era. This is it. Oh, bang. The death of the retail era. And we're seeing the birth of the institutional era of blockchain. In other words, the professionalization of the blockchain world. Right? The true believers, the cult members. Yeah, they're still here. That's the money we're pretty much looking at. <laughs> the institute, uh, the uh, retail investors that came last year, they've been weakened, pushed out, weekends. You know, they, they don't know how markets work and all that. They're nine to five people. 
but they what what made them different than the uh, uh, cult members is that cult members will hold on for dear life. Cult member will hold on till their shit goes to zero. I'll tell you that right now. A retailer, not so much. <laughs> but now we're seeing the professionalization and the institutionalization with the infrastructure of the market being built. of the cryptocurrency space, all right? That's what we're seeing. And so you're holding right now and your shit's down. That's all good. That was just the retail era dying. The last breaths. I know, man, I know. Trading and investing, it sounds a little mean sometimes, man. But luck, luck, luck. That's the, this is the death. The death of the retail era and the birth, bang, of the institutional investors arriving. Do you understand? That's why we have custody. That's why we have applications going on. Yeah, because of the birth. The, let's get real, the takeover of the market by institutional investors. And what's good about this and what's good for you is that this is the first time in the world. This is a fucking once in a lifetime chance, once in a lifetime chance where the regular man, you, the working man, the commoner, the common man, as they say in England, the commoner, or the common man in Europe, they say. But just the regular, like we say here in America, the regular Joe, <laughs> the working stiff. This is your once in a lifetime chance where you know that rich people, hold on, let me go and see and fuck you up right here like this, like bang, hold on, where's it? Bang. Yes, I'm getting to that, brothers. We're getting to your money. We're getting to your fucking money, brothers. Look. We're institutional investors. Bang. In other words, let's take out the fancy words, institutional, blah, blah, blah. Let's just say it how it is. Where the common man has the assets. Yes, brothers. <laughs> you have you. You and your type. Whatever socioeconomic level you're in, you and your type. You've got the fucking cryptocurrency warehouse built. Well, maybe not built. I mean, maybe you're still building. I don't know what your level of thing is, but you have access to the goods that what? Institutional investors want. Multi-millionaires, multi-billionaires. And they're coming here to control it. It's the death of the retail era and the rise of cryptocurrency to get real. To become itself institutional and powerful. But look, look, look. What does that mean for you? It means this. <clears throat> Never in the history of the world. Of the world. I know I'm getting crazy. Man, you had to yell at your microphone. Look, look, look. Never in the history of the world has the regular man had what the rich man wants. Go through your history books. I mean, look, look, look. If there is a way... I mean, if there, I mean, not a way. If it's ever happened before, I mean, look, I'm not a historian, but I mean, I'm pretty sure, from what little history I know, that the wealthy man always seems to own all the land in Europe. He owns the land, right? That's why Robin Hood and his merry men had to do all that, because the Nottingham dude owned the land. <laughs> but that was real, actually. That is what it really was like in Europe. Look, look, the rich always own the land, and what else? The means of production. Right? And they always own everything before you get to own it. Soldier, bang! They own it. Then they give you the Facebook. Oh. They own it. Then they give you the Microsoft. Not this time. No, no, no. <laughs> Not this time. This time's different. This time, 
is a once in a lifetime time with a regular man. You. Let me look at you right here, even fuck stick. Bang. Let me make sure I'm even looking at you proper. You. Look here, brother. Let me put this down. Look here, brother. Where are you? Yo, you didn't know I had multiple cameras, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, my shit's souped up. I don't use it, though. But look, look, look. Where are you? You're the one with the goods this time. They're the ones coming for your shit. You're not the one buying the Microsoft. You're the one selling the Ripples. You're not the one buying the Facebook. You're the one selling the VJ. <laughs> You're the IPO guy now. <laughs> Hold on. Let's even go here. Fuck all this. Flipped on its head, right? That's what the beauty. Shmori, man, why are y'all in this market? Yo, guys, I'm a Forex trader. I'm just here straight for the money, man. I don't care about whose blockchain works or doesn't work. I'm here to just make profit off of whatever I can out of this crap. All right? Yeah, it's just another asset. I trade derivatives. I've traded uh, options before, but whatever. Actually, I don't do that anymore. Wrong cares, you son of a bitch. He trades options, though. I mean, if you're going to trade stocks, right, at least do it with options. But look, 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 look. That's technical crap. Look. And look, look, look. That's what's happening. You. This is a once in a lifetime chance. And I know what's going on. You're looking at markets like today. You look at this market like today. All right, let's get back to some uh, not my face. You look at shit like this. Bang. And yeah, man, it looks rough. And around here, we call that, well, we call this a sale. Me and my crew, <laughs> we're laughing. But look, look, we know you, you people, you new people, look, look, look. We call this a sale around these parts because we know that all this money's coming, right? We know that there's a tsunami of money on the way that's going to buy all this. And that's what I want you to be confident in. You know what I mean? Because I know what's happening. And around here, we know what's happening. Look, look, look. Hold on. Let's go back. All right, then. Let's go back to the face. I know what's happening. You knew people. I know what's happening. You work hard. You bring home the money. You got a wife, maybe some kids, and you got bros. And you're hearing what we call around here the yap, yap, yap. Yo. You're hearing that yap, yap, yap from your brothers. I know. I know. You're going home with your paycheck. You're like, yeah. You see a day like today. You see a day like this. Where's this shit? Bang. And you're like, yes. What, what day is it today even? Hold on. Oh, oh, it's Friday today. Bang. So you got your paycheck last night. Oh, and you're about to get your hands on some, some nice crypto. Some nice. Yes, brothers. As you should. Bang! But look, look, look. But what happens? You know what goes down? You got your boys. Yo, man. Why do you come out hunting with us, dog? We want to go hunting. And you're like, look, look, look. You know I love hunting boys. I love taking down deer. But look. I got my investments. I got to roll. Yeah, man. But your investments are down, dog. You ain't even making any money. You, you're not even hanging with the boys anymore, man. Everyone's starting to think that you're, like, dissing us, man. Like, look, 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 look. Look. Settle down. I love you boys. How many deer have we taken down together? How many girls have we had fun with? <laughs> I don't want to say anything because there's girls watching this now. How many girls have we had fun with together, brother? I love you guys. But I love my wife and family. I got money to be made. Shut up. Yeah, dog, but you're not even coming with us to Vegas. Luck, luck, luck. I'll see you after 2020, bro. <laughs> luck, luck, luck. Oh, I mean, that's what I would say, but I don't know what your thing is, but luck. Bang. And then, so that's what you're hearing. I know, I know, I know. Shamari knows you, brothers. I'm just a regular guy. Yeah, I'm an investor, but I know. So you hear the yap, yap, yap from the boys. I mean, I hear the yap. I mean, I have money, so actually I don't hear yap, yap, yap. But I mean... I do hear yap, yap, yap. Why am I 
you know, your shit went down again. I have friends, they come over. I saw your Bitcoin down again. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, dick. So it lets me buy more. <laughs> but luck, luck, luck. I'm seasoned. You know, regular folk don't know that. But luck, luck, luck. I understand. The yap, yap, yap from the boys. And then what happens? <sighs> shit. Bang. Oh, shit. What is it? The wife. Fuck. <laughs> you got to hear the yap, yap, yap. From that angle now. Oh, that's the worst one, brothers. I know what you're going through. You work hard. You're trying to build something together. She doesn't get it. Yeah, baby. Yes, yeah, sweetie, I'm trying to build for you. I'm trying to put our money into something that makes us successful and better off. She's not hearing that, though. Yap, yap, yap. Oh, here we go. Honey, we want it. I want a new... I want a new. Uh, <laughs> Hold on, I'm not even gonna write anyone out because one of you told me about your wife shit. <laughs> but look, 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 you know how it goes. Oh, honey, we need a new bathroom. Come on, let's just put ten thousand in that. Why are you buying that ripple, honey? We need a new kitchen. Why are you spending fifteen thousand on that thing? Sweetie, damn. Settle down. Settle down, lady. Settle down. <laughs> and that's why our brother, Justin, he showed us the words. Look, brothers, you're trying to do good for your family. You're trying to do good for yourself, for fuck's sakes, I mean. Fuck. So we have a saying around here in South Beach. Uh oh, my bad, not in South Beach, my bad. On cryptocurrency blockchain news given to us by our brother. The Minister of Propaganda. Shut up, wife. I'm about that hotel life. And that's what you got to be about, boys. Now's the time. You got to be about hotel life. You about hotel life? You better buy some more shit. You better buy some more shit. Shit's on sale. I mean, I don't know what your warehouse is looking like. But look, when these institutional investors get here, bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Look. All right. Bang. We had to preach a little. Let's go. Cryptocurrency Binance. What? Cryptocurrency Exchange Binance. Hit with an influx. An influx. And this is what I'm talking about. Institutional investors, brothers. Institutional investors. Don't you worry. Don't listen to the yap, yap, yap. We don't rock that yap, yap, yap around these parts. We don't rock weak hands. And we don't, well, I definitely don't do that. I don't give a fuck. But, it's, but we also don't rock any yap, yap, yap. Especially from the you know who. No, no, no. No, no, no. You want to be rich? Bang. Institutes of Esther on the way, brothers. Here we go. Yes. Once in a lifetime chance, brothers. Once in a lifetime. Remember this. It's always the rich man who owns the means of production or the land. You know, back in the olden days, it was agri it was an agrarian culture. So, you know, whoever owned the crops and the, the goats and pigs and chickens ruled the world, right? Now today we have, you know, titans of, of uh, you know, whatever, industry that own things. Not this time. This time it's you. It's your turn. It's your turn, and you decide your level of involvement. You know what? This show, this show, let me say this. What I want you to understand about this show, fuck. I don't even know if I am going to totally unfud you. <laughs> I've been talking a long time already. Look, look, this show right here, it's sort of a combination of my two favorite movies. Fight Club, bang, and The Matrix. What do you mean, dog? Well, I'll tell you what I mean. Fight Club in that I'm taking regular dudes. Bang. I want you to get on a higher mission. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes. You're doctors, lawyers, spreadsheet warriors, mechanics. Whatever you are, man. Whatever you do. Fucking what's that guy? He was a chemical engineer. Like all of you guys. You guys do all this stuff. 
right? But in Fight Club, bang, 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 you built an army with one goal, right? I mean, his goal was a little different than this goal. His goal was <laughs> to take down the uh, credit card companies. The goal right here is to make sure that <clears throat> regular guys get their piece of this once in a lifetime chance. That's what, bang, that's what I'm here for. Okay, I understand the, I understand the, uh, <laughs> I understand the uh, fight club thing. What about the Matrix? Well, the Matrix is this. How do I unfud you? How do I keep you in the mix? Getting rich. Right. Bang. By showing you the truth. Right? That was what the Matrix was, right? Bang, bang, bang. Take this pill. You can go back and believe any fucking bullshit you want. You take this pill, though, bitch. <laughs> you come to cryptocurrency blockchain news, son. <laughs> Bang, we're going to teach you about custody ETFs. We're going to show you how deep this rabbit hole goes, bitch. <laughs> Bang! And that's what you all chose. You chose the blue pill. That's why you're here. I know how it works. There's about 100 of you. I know there's about 400 people in the, uh, in the fucking uh, subscriber thing. But I know there's only about 100 of you that are hardcore. There's about 100 of us. 100 of you. I'm hardcore already. But I know there's about 100 of you guys. You're not fucking around around these parts. I know you don't all comment. You don't all do that. You know, but I can see it from the uh, YouTube analytics. And look, just like Fight Club, yep, it's time for the regular guy to make some moves. <laughs> yes, time for to get the piece. And just like the Matrix, look, look, look. I'm here to show you how deep that rabbit hole goes. I bring it on. So look. All of you who are afraid, look at this rabbit hole of fuck sticks. Bang! An influx of what? Institutional demand. I just told you. The retail era, the retail phase of the cryptocurrency blocks. Uh, sorry, that's the show. The retail phase of cryptocurrency, this is the death. And that's why we see... Bang! But... In death, something rises. Bang. Institutional demand. And look, look, look. We're the wise. We're the ones. You're like Noah. What you know about Noah? Look, look. No one knew. What made Noah special? What made him special? Right? Today. Look at today's blood red markets. It looks horrible. Horrible. But what made Noah special? You know what made Noah special? Noah from the Bible. <laughs> you know what made him special? Is that he knew of a fucking event that was coming and he took action on it. Yeah, that's what makes him special. You don't think he told other people about it? Yeah, well, they didn't take action. They got fucked up. <laughs> so when you hear of something, an event, take action. That's what you're doing here. You're watching me drinking, smoking, talking shit. Well, truth but i mean you know what i mean you know what i'm saying well not in the whole respect look 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 and you're like noah you know of an event what's coming bang well what's here institutional demand what does that mean well that means that your shitty little <laughs> that means your shitty little market <clears throat> your shitty little crypto nerd market <laughs> of what? What are we at? $108 billion is about to get, holy man, it's about to get an influx. All right, let's say it properly. Yeah, I was going to say it all ghetto, but let's just say it properly. It's getting an influx of money um, and uh. What that means is that your cryptos are going to rise. Huge. Bang. Bang. Bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. All of them are going to rise. Right? All right. Come on. Let's. And so, you know, institutional demand, brothers. 
And so like Noah, in your crypto world, you're in the retail world. Bang, and it looks blood red. It's a dying world. <laughs> I know, I'm making this sound morbid, but it's a dying world. A hellscape. <laughs> hold on, brothers, hold on. It's a hellscape. But look, look, that's what it seems to the uninitiated. But look, look, if you're a smart investor, that just looks like a sale to me. And that's what it looks like. You'll see tonight. If you're new here, you'll see in the comments. I know I'm talking a lot. Tonight's a, a long night, fuck sticks. <laughs> a long night. But look, and that's what I want you to see. If you're afraid of this right now, by the end of this, I want you to laugh your ass off. Because that means prices are on sale. On sale. Getting Bitcoins for $3,400? Hold on, let's even do a refresh. Let's see if we've even gone down anymore. Oh, bang, 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 yeah. <laughs> look, look, look. Look, look, I gotta stop doing that or else I'm gonna just sit here just refreshing this shit, talking to my... <laughs> look, look, look. Institutional demand. And that's what I'm talking about. That's why you're like Noah. All your other friends out there, they're selling their crypto. They're afraid. They're, they're dying out. Yeah, but you're not stupid. You know that there's institutional demand. Well, institutions don't demand shit unless they know they're going to be buying shit and make profit off that shit. To put it in a shit fuck damn sort of way. <laughs> Which is why you got to go to Investopedia around here, guys, to get the... The textbook way. I want you to learn properly. But look, look, look. My shit's good enough. <laughs> My shit is good enough. Look. Where are we going here? What's Binance saying? We are seeing an influx. What? An influx of inst institutional accounts in the space. Bang. And anticipate institutional demand to pick up substantially. What? Pick up how much? I don't know how much, but substantially. Bang. That sounds good. <laughs> In the coming. Oh. And this one I'm talking about. They're not dumb. Next year is when everything rocks. And this is what I want. I want you all to remember this. We are in the retailer phase. So, three phases. True believers. Wait. How do you look at the camera? Let me look at how you look at the camera. Actually, hold on. Let me just bang like this. All right. Let me look how you look at the camera. So left to right is over here. Okay. So true believer phase. Pfft, that's all these ripple fucks who think their shit's going to 500. That's where the money first came from. Bang. Then we got to retail investor phase. That's when all that shit went up last year. And uh, you know what went down. And then weekends and they all ran away. Bang. But now we're in institutional phase. And all of us who are still here. We're going to reap the benefits. So all of you who are still here, you are going to reap the benefits of, <clears throat> of uh, the institutional demand, which is picking up how much? Substantially. Bang. All right, brothers. So Binance says the new feature is one of the most requested add-ons. Bringing the exchange one step closer to a comprehensive full stack. Bang, I showed you about the stacks. Yo, I showed you, man, my buddy Marco. I told you he was a bank. He's a bank IT guy. Like, way up there. Like, he hires the uh, the contractors to do the shit. Like, he's super, he knows all this digital stuff. And uh, anyway, what's the point of what I was saying? Anyway, whatever. What was the point of what I was trying to say to you? Oh, stack, yeah. Yeah, and he showed me everything works in a stack in banks. So you want to send money? Swift does the thing. Your 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 IT network that you hire actually transferred it on their network, on the fiber optic cabling. The the way you move it is a whole other thing. And then the uh, it's, it's just a, a stack. All right, so full stack offering. And so that's what I want to tell you. So they're offering, Binance says, 
The new feature is one of the most requested add-ons. I told you about the stack yesterday, bringing the exchange uh, one step closer to comprehensive full stack offering for institutional clients. Bang! That's why you're here with Shamari, bitches. Motherfuckers don't talk about no stacks. That's why I talk about, buddies. I tell you, man. Luck, luck, luck. I got you, son. Look, a stack. When you have to send money, boom, it takes all of these and more, though. Guys, just to send that million dollars, a stack. So they're offering what they say. Full stack, son. That means they are going to offer the... I mean, I'm assuming they're going to offer the messaging, the settlement, the the networking, the... It's, I don't even know what else. But my buddy told me actually it was 10 things in the stack. But that's more technical crap. I'm sure I'd have to be an insider to know that. So I don't know that kind of stuff. But look, look, look. The new account feature is all... Exactly. It is already... Bang. Up and running, brothers. For corporate users and anyone with the VIP tier account. All right, brothers, and now, bang. Poloniex. All right, so I'm just trying to unfud you fucks. And what I, and the, the, the truth is, let's just boil it down. All of these companies, all of these exchanges, all of these different companies, they don't offer institutional accounts unless they know, bang, that they want them. You know what I mean? I just don't go, hey, man, I got a Bitcoin ETF if I don't know if someone wants it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't work like that. Like I told you, we've said it before. These guys play golf with each other, right? When they're at the country clubs in New York, like New York, around, imagine New York City. Around New York City, there's what, five country clubs? Yeah, these fuck sticks play golf two, three times a week. You think they don't bump into each other on golf courses? Yeah, there's only five at the level that they're at. You know what I mean? There's many more, but they don't play on the shitty ones that, you know, probably we would play on. They play on country clubs, right? So there's only like four or five of them. Yeah, they bump into each other. Hey, man, what are you doing with crypto? Hey, yeah, we're thinking of offering custody. Yeah? What, are you thinking of getting in? Yeah, we're thinking of getting in. We'd like it. But that's how they just talk to each other, right? I mean, they don't care. They're millionaires and billionaires. They just command the company to do whatever. And then their buddy commands his company to do whatever, and it works or not. But they don't care personally, right? Like, they're millionaires. Anyways, lock, 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 lock. But what I'm saying is, that's what's going down. So, uh, that's why they're offering institutional trading and everything. All right, we're going to go through this fast, because I've talked your fucking ear off tonight, really, haven't I? Shit, I'm sorry, guys. Blah, blah, blah. All right, we're not even going to talk about this, actually. Anyways, all right, let's just, all right, let's just do it. Crypto exchange Poloniex has announced the opening of trading services for institutional, bang, institutional clients. That's right, bang, the big money. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Anyways, the company, which was acquired by payments firm Circle earlier this year, Said Tuesday that it will begin offering institutional accounts. Bang. With support for different. So you don't just offer shit like that if you don't know people want it. Right? Uh, with support for different crypto trading pairs and API interfaces. Interesting. Uh, the exchange will also provide uh, a no fee transactions for all Bitcoin USD coin traders. Trades in December. A little something. All right. Let's skip down a little. Let's just get out of here. I've been talking to you guys a lot. Let's go down here. Coloniex and uh, Circle and Poloniex join industry exchanges like Bitcoin and offering services specifically for, bang, institutional, not just investors, but these are institutional traders. And that's when we're going to see the markets being able, beginning to move properly. Schmore, man, you're a Forex trader. Why don't you trade this shit? Yeah, dick. Because these are, they're amateurs that are trading, and these aren't how markets trade. You'll see, once these big boys get in here, they're going to demand, first of all, meta trader, motherfucker, and then we'll be trading properly. But right now, it's a joke. But bang, even the traders are on the way. And that is what? 
liquidity nice all right all right and that's good enough that's good enough i've talked to you guys fuck all night fuck we've been going at this for a minute haven't we man shamar you really bang 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 look 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 and this is what i want to talk about look 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 oh shout out to the airdrops here we go brothers bang look bang look 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 institutional investors right around the corner brothers 2019 to the moon look at this picture here <laughs> i love this picture luck 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 exactly there's 2018 now i know that's what your account probably looks like man it's looking slaughtered it's looking beat up fuck like some fuck i don't even know what happened to this guy but look 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 but look at that guy bang 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 that's around the corner and i'm not i'm just making jokes but really guys etfs futures custody services uh trading desks it's all coming and it's all in the next few months so and, and that's what i'm telling you this is the end of the retail phase anything that happens between now and january don't worry about it just take advantage of it as it goes down as this stuff goes down take advantage of it whoops take advantage of it and buy it buy it all because in 2019 there's going to be no looking back all right <laughs> excuse me <laughs> wow q q2 2019 in my humble opinion all right let's get the shout outs and airdrops box sticks bang what we got? Bang, bang, bang. Airdrop at 2410, the Hurricane Master. Bang. Yes. Why are you guys banging me so much? Oh, from the look, look, look. Bang. J Will. So look, look, look. He's not doing the uh the uh the Discord thing anymore, really. I think our Discord thing's dead, so let's all fuck off with that. But look, go to J Will J242 K4. Man, if you're all into all that libertarian stuff and stuff, bang, he's got you. But that's where we get the knowledge from. That little chart I showed you today about the size of crypto and the size of everything else. Bang, that's his stuff. So go check that kind of stuff out. Bang, Crypto Bridgie. Wah, wah, yow. Bang, see you, girl. Son of a bitch. Wrong cares with the bang, bang, bang. See you, brother. Bang. Bitcoin doodle, bang. See you, brother. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, 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 Doodle gave me another. Bang, 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 bang. Look, look, bang, bang. Wait, sorry. Look, look, bang, bang. Absolutely. All right, let's settle down, brother. Settle down. What? Trini Crypto. What going, girl? I didn't think I deal with it. Oh, I pressed on her thing. Oh, she's got some sparkly stuff there. Nice. All right, she's all sparkly. Sparkly. I got some sparkly, we got some sparkly girls with us, brothers. Bang! Look, look, look. And then one more last one. Edwin Modmon. <laughs> Bang, brother, love you. All right. Where's Pollywood? Pollywood's not around. Well, there he is, so let's go to him down here. Bang, Pollywood. All right. Oh, Pollywood. It's true, though. And that's what I'm talking about. I don't know why, why does Tron take a licking. Why? Why? All right, so technically, Tron took over number 10. So let me show you guys a little something, actually. I'm going to show you guys a little something. So I'm going to get to crush the their XRP, the Ripple guys again. Yeah, yeah. Ripple didn't go up because it made more money. It went down. It went up because Ethereum made less money. And actually, um, which is the difference between Stellar, which made money to go up, and... I guess Bitcoin SV did the same thing. Uh, do you see the differences? Your your place can go up by making money or by someone else getting fucked. And look at Tron went down 9.47. Yeah, but it made money and that's why it's at number 10. Anyways, that's just some little technical bullshit. I, that doesn't even really matter, right? I don't even know why I brought that up. All right, brothers. Bang! Look, look, my ugly face. Look, look. So... Hodl, hodl, anyone. I know these prices look devious today. They look wicked. Brothers, I know. 
just go get your shit. You know how you got to do it this weekend. Everything's on sale, brother. <laughs> We're going to murder it. But I'm talking to the, you know who I'm talking to. Luck, luck. So luck, I showed you. We have institutional investors arriving. What does that mean? Hedge funds, mutual funds, hundreds of billions of dollars are coming into this market. Now is not the time to sell. You suffered through this the whole time. You suffered through this the whole year. The money's right around the corner. That's all I could say, man. That's all I could say. I could drink a little more, but I, I feel like it. And then, because I could rock. Oh, you see, that's what I mean. You're like Noah. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay. And so to finish this off, luck, 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 luck. Bang! To finish this off, brothers, like I said, you're like Noah. You know of an event. Look, 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 as crazy as it might seem to the outsider, to the mother, to the guy who knows what's happening, it's all logical, isn't it? To the guy who knows that there's a tsunami of money on the way, institutional investors on the way, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Santander, shall we continue? Bank of America. Lloyds of London. Shall we continue? Fidelity. Into this little space. If you know anything about markets and you know that information, look, look, you're like Noah. You know that this space is about to blow up. And about, I give it, I think about six to eight months. I know other motherfuckers are saying four months, blah, 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 but. I think six to eight and we'll we'll look at it. It's on video. I can't lie what I said, but I think May, June, July next year <laughs> off to the races and look, 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 thank Noah. And that's what you are. You're like a Noah. Noah, all the people around him said, what the fuck are you doing, bro? He said, I'm building an ark. And they were like, are you stupid? And that's what you're getting now. We just talked about it before. The yap, yap, yap. That yap, yap, yap translated, you're stupid. Just spend your money with us and waste it with us and do all this crap. Don't invest in yourself. You're investing in yourself right now. And you know that other people are coming to invest in what you're investing in. You're going to make money. And you can either listen to the yap, yap, yap. You can go hunting and get that deer, but that deer ain't going to pay you money. Or you can get off your ass Buy yourself some V-Chain. That's going to pay you some money. Yes, you'll have to hear the yap yap. But you're going to make it in the end, all right? Uh, and it's right around the corner. And that's what we looked at, right? Bang. Institutional demand from Poli Poloniex. Bang. Binance does its institutional investment. Uh, oh, sees the institutional investment demand. Right? So you have a choice. Red pill, blue pill. <laughs> you want to go back to the matrix? Or you want to stay in the real world and learn how this rabbit hole goes, how deep this rabbit hole goes? All right, buddies. I love you all. This is my favorite time of the day. Bang. My name is Shamari Clark. Love you guys. It's the favorite time of my day. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's how it rocks, you know. I love you guys. And I love talking money. I love talking everything. And we are going to end it like this. Bang. Shamar Clark. Oh, oh yeah. I got to tell you all this bullshit. Subscribe below. Press that little bell. It's supposed to give you some uh, update or something. Look, look, look. Shamar Clark. Love you guys. Bang. Remember this. Institutional investors are on the way. That's why these big institute, uh, these uh, exchanges are offering institutional investment uh, grade investments your money's on the way brothers stay strong and for the rest of you brothers you know what's on sale <laughs> bang get that loot it's shamari clark bang always on duty over and out